Hated to love it, the underdog is on top. Hated to love it, the underdog is on top. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but hated to love it, the underdog is on top and will always be on top because everybody always got the underdog name in their mouth. Every time. Every time. Every single time. They always think they know. They always think they know what God next move is about to be. <laughs> because of what it looks like or because of what it's been looking like, they think they know. And they don't. <laughs> they have no idea. They don't know what God next move is. They don't know what God's calling for your life is. They have no idea. See, because they don't walk by faith. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't walk by faith. It's what they see. And God knows that. God knows that is what they see. So he can't wait to show up and show out. He can't wait to say, Y'all think y'all know? <laughs> but you have no idea. See, he know how people is treating you. He know how, you know, um, people knows your life, your every move. Whether it's because you've told them every move or because they just keep looking at you like, like a hawk. Like, they watch your every move and then they think that they could call what's going to happen. They think that they know what the outcome is going to be. They don't. And a lot of people always prey on people's downfall or, you know, they, they prey on people's circumstance it could change at any given moment any given moment they don't know that person's faith they don't know if that person talked to god they don't know if god is using them for anything nobody knows but god and so that's why you should watch out who you speaking up on that's why you should watch out for the underdogs because they may be on top matter of fact they will be on top they will be. And I want everybody who's looking at this to think about their life. Are you an underdog? You know, do you know an underdog? Do, do you know that at any given moment, any given moment, things can change. And... I want to let you guys know too I observe a lot like right now as I'm driving I roll past Figueroa right now and you know everybody knows Figueroa that's the street where the prostitutes is at okay and um I don't know if God wanted me to see this or not but I just seen something and I seen a girl who ain't supposed to be on Figueroa right now okay she don't want to be on Figueroa but she is. But I'm not going to pass judgment on her and say, because she's on fig right now. Oh, she about to go down. She just may go to jail. Oh, she's stupid. I don't know what God has, has on her life. I don't know the calling that God has on her life. So I will never judge. I know how God uses me. But I do want to ride past her and say, hi. I want to let her know, you still beautiful. thing a lot of people judge people but her being on fig has nothing to do with anybody who has is gonna judge her who, who anybody who has an opinion on her it has nothing to do with them and they find it their business to talk about people not knowing if fig may be the reason why she goes to the top the end of the day you know 
I love that I just seen that because I don't pass judgment on nobody. I know what God has put me through. And I know that somebody being on sick, I mean, she has no teeth in her mouth and she's, <laughs> she's smiling. Hey baby. But the next person would judge her. If she's smiling, why is somebody judging her? You need to be judging yourself and asking yourself, can you keep a smile on your face on fig with no teeth in your mouth? Because it's, it's crazy to me how somebody else tries to self-project how they feel about themselves or how they feel about somebody else on somebody else. And it's not fair. You know, it's not fair at all. And I want to let whoever is watching this know if you are talking about somebody who's an underdog, watch your mouth. And if you are that underdog, keep the faith and you will be on top because the underdogs always win.